What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Jando, as always, Nerdy Jando today, because we're talking about some of that good old chess AI. <laughs> yeah, so I know I talked to you guys yesterday saying I was gonna show off some of the, the chess AI, some of the board stuff, but I spent literally like an entire like like coding night. Uh, with it. I stayed up for like, I don't know, it was like nine hours yesterday, finalizing some of the piece moves. Now, we still don't have full captures, but finalizing some of the piece moves and finalizing the interactions between said pieces. So now we have a fully functioning chessboard. And let me, let me, it's, it's a surreal moment we had last night. Uh, my chess AI checkmated me. Yeah, I know, I know. It sounds, it sounds like, it, it sounds insane. We're living in a world. My chess AI became sentient. Now it checkmated me. What is going on? But let me show you guys real quick the, uh, the actual new changes to the Board. Okay, so these are some of the new functions that just got added in. This is the relative castle move, so we have castling coded in, and I'm not going to bore you guys with all the coding stuff. And then relative capture, which is the, the biggest one that I still, there's still some fine tuning. I have to add some edge cases for different uh, motion and, and like, it, I'll, I'll explain, but it, it works. Even even without the extra stuff, it does work. So the way that the two the two moves work, uh, we have the relative castle, which is the same the same thing we coded in before in that initial like, like test one. King will slide over, uh, Rook will go and then put it wherever it is. Now, the piece capture is kind of the new different part that, that just got coded in and uh, this is my kind of thought the whole time um, but I wasn't sure if I was going to implement it this way that's why we had all this, all this other stuff there is still the complicated version of piece capture that could be coded in and this is what I'm saying there is uh, a bunch of more situations that could be handled and like it would make it just aesthetically look better but practicality wise uh, the catch all solve all ones and let's go but so the way the piece capture algorithm works all it does is it goes to the piece let's say this black piece is captured in this white one if this piece was going, all it does is it moves it off one of the center lines, pulls it back in, and then deposits it, deposits it over on the side uh, that all the other pieces of that color are going to. And that's that's kind of it. Let me, <laughs> I know, I know, it, it, the software software never correlates the cool stuff for video. But let me, I'll play a game against the uh, stockfish right now, and then once we get to a part where it either captures or does something else, I'll come back. Okay, so we reached this position, and I'm gonna make some arguably stupid moves. Just to show off the captures, we're gonna take with the bishop over here. Just to show off some of the captures, and then also the move next, we are set up to do a castle too. But you'll see, it goes to that pawn, and it might do a weird move, you see how it's going backwards, but it takes it to the center line, and that's what I was talking about with the, uh, the extra little bits I have to add. Now, the last piece too, and maybe I can talk about this too while we're here. Um, I have an idea, and I have the chip already that I need to do it, to make this actually a possibility. So this chip is gonna let me flip the polarity of the, and this is a beefy H bridge, if you know what this is, uh, super beefed up for, th for like 40 amps, just because if I want to do a bigger magnet, yeah. But, 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 the idea is to bring the piece to the edge and then use this device to push it off with the magnet instead. For right now, we have these little metal bars that I had from this other thing that are just in place that are kind of nice. I kind of like this, I don't know. But we might need some kind of basket or something else to hold. But you'll see, uh, it also, oh, it just took my bishop. I wasn't even watching. Yeah, I mean, that's smart, obviously. You probably took with the queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, so the whole board works, and stockfish is really good. I don't, I don't even tell it, and it knows to, to like, take with the queen. Ah! <laughs> that's awesome. I, I, I love that so much. All right, let's do the castle just to show the other, the other interaction. Um, so we are going to move the castle, just like so. And you'll see, if we come back here, if everything goes to the plan, everything goes to the master plan, we, this will go right here, and then this will go right here. Oh. <laughs> Rook got pulled up a little bit. But, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. The AI, we'll let the AI play one more move just to see what it'll do. Uh, Stockfish is absolutely insane. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, but yeah, that's about it for today. I finally got all the interactions in, and there's so much other stuff in the work right now that I just just with brain sciencing and a bunch of Discord channels and stuff, I think the next thing I'm gonna work on for the, the printer, not on the practicality side, but I'm gonna get a GPT-3 model that you can make any person, so the idea is gonna be you can play any person person in chess and they're gonna talk smack, talk shit back, depending on how good you're doing in the position because we can get the full evals from Stockfish so we know exactly how good someone is doing in the game itself. So if they're playing well, if they're playing shitty, then they're playing poor. And I can feed this into a GPT-3 model that can also have configuration for like a name or something. And I've already done all this stuff before. Uh, go back, there's another video that I show off with some of the GPT-3 models. But uh, that's about it for today. Uh, I'm about to get checkmated. Thank you Stockfish. Um, but I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you.
guys next time. Bye, guys.